Hello, my name is Adria, I'm from EcoServase and welcome to this video in which I will explain you how to work with the Excel tool so you can evaluate the environmental impact of your sports events and maybe try to make them a bit more sustainable. If we go to the Excel, you can see there's this little description that comes in every sheet as a guideline. This one, the first one is uh, analysis part one which is about thinking of a current sport uh, event as if it had to be done without taking any measure to make it more sustainable. First of all, we would need to fill the basic information of the event, which is the number of attendees, the duration of the event, and the staff people which are involved. And then we could start filling the consumables table, in which we will indicate every input, activity, or item that has an environmental impact associated. We can see we have divided the everything into five categories, which are food, material, energy and transport, water and waste. And then there are other subtypes and classes to define these items. For example, uh, if I choose material, then we can choose between uh, paper, equipment and merchandising and if we want to take a look at the equipment then we can choose between t-shirts, sneakers, whether they are normal or from an eco brand or other sport accessories. Let's make an example. Let's imagine that I know that our staff uses 10 cars to go to the event and each car makes 40 kilometers uh, to go and return using gasoline. As this is related to energy and transport, I should fill it that way. Here I should put gasoline. Who uses it is our staff. And as the units are kilometer per car, I should put in 400, as they are 10 cars making 40 kilometers each. It's important to keep an eye on the units because as you can see they change depending on the item you're trying to put into the table. These units you will need them uh, to collect the data after making an event so you can put the items in the table so it's important to take a look at them. Then we can go and watch the results on the uh, right side of the screen which are in another table but also in the graphs you can see here they can show us for example the total emissions or maybe for example we can also see the emissions coming from the attendees or coming from the staff members etc etc try to understand what has the largest impact in your event and then maybe you can start thinking what problems should be addressed in order to minimize the carbon footprint of your event. After the first part of the analysis, we come to analysis part two. And this section is meant for you to make a list of problems that you detected from the first part. You can even include things that you detected that maybe are not reflected on part one, but you think they are relevant for your sports event. In the first column, we should put what we think it has a negative impact for the environment. For example, maybe in our event there's a lot of pollution from cars, a lot of meat is being used in the event, and also the rubbish that is produced is a lot and it is not recycled. That's why maybe the section of the graph uh, related to waste is so big. Um, the point of this part is uh, trying to make a brainstorm to see if we can come up with ideas to solve the problems we have put in the first column. These solutions should be things or activities that you could try to implement so the event becomes greener, you know, uh, more sustainable. You can put as many activities as you want, it's completely open, so feel free to put whatever you want and you should give them also points from 1 to 5 depending on how relevant you think they are for your sport event and also uh, whether it's easy or not for you to implement these uh, solutions. 
If we go to the next section, which is the planning of your event, it should appear the six measures from your brainstorming that have the highest score and therefore are the ones that you should implement the first. On the following columns, you should choose in which category is going to reduce the environmental impact. And then you should choose one of the goals from the list approximately. Let's say 50% increase on recycled waste. And then you can see the expected reduction on the CO2 emissions that will have this action on your event. Finally, you should complete this table indicating how are you going to implement the actions, who's going to be the responsible to take those actions, when are you going to take them, and which are the steps you're going to follow to take those actions. Now, in the section of evaluation part one, you can see there's the same table as in the analysis. The point is to simply repeat the process, but now with your event after having implemented those actions and measures to reduce its environmental impact. So, with the results obtained, we can see in the graphs if the emissions related with the event have decreased or not. Try to understand how or why they may have decreased or maybe increased. Finally, in evaluation part two, we have the results comparing the events before and after implementing those measures to reduce its carbon footprint. We can see the emissions before and after in this graph and also some other results in the table together with some recommendations uh, to reduce even more the carbon footprint, which change depending on your results. Finally, at the bottom, you can fill the qualitative evaluation, giving a score to each of the questions. And that's it. I hope you find it useful and it helps you think about caring for the planet. At the same time, we are practicing sports. Thank you and see you later.